Hi there everybody, this is Mark Bromley and today I am showing you my artwork which is a rendition, a watercolor rendition of uh, Edward Monk's work. I guess it's actually a tent on a riverbed, but at the time I created this I saw a title for it, I guess it was mistitled. It was actually uh, Girls on the Beach, which I thought was funny because it's like a little pup tent on the beach. and thought it was funny back then, back in college, and I was a young man at that time, so it was a pretty fitting picture. And it's uh, it's pretty good, actually, and I, it actually uh, captures that Edward Monk look and uh, my own unique style. After all, he did it in uh, ad available to him, and I did this in watercolor. So uh, that's pretty much what it is. This is actually sized about an A4 page size type deal. Um, probably about, uh, about 10 by 12 inches. Uh, I don't have it with me right now, but it's, it's, that's the real piece. The real piece is probably, uh, more than what a, uh, print of this would be or a glycy would be. So, uh, you're welcome to order that from me. Uh, you can go to my email, ask me for any particular type of work that you like. If you want to see more in that series or more of those kind of images, you can. Right now, I'm doing some artwork for Euranthium, the book series, which is I'm the author of. And I'm doing quite a bit of different uh, design elements for uh, describing creatures and things in the book that I do. And uh, <clears throat> this one right here was Edward Monk. It was done in college uh, over at Western University in Gunnison, Colorado. And, uh, well, I just simply liked Edward Monk's work. Uh, you might see me in my political thing. I'm wearing a tie. That's the scream. <laughs> it's a little print of the scream. Usually I, when I'm doing the political thing, I don't show off the little scream. I kind of hide it a little bit just to uh, be subtle about what I'm actually doing there because, you know, screaming on the inside so I don't show everybody that it's kind of that kind of comment and uh, that's a Edward Monk thing it's kind of a nice little happy little thing that I did. Um, well look it's a beautiful those and it's uh, quite a wonderful piece so yeah yeah subscribe like my artwork and uh, if you want to see more renditions of this kind of artwork you're welcome to do it. You know, there were some people that did some uh, artwork for some model boxes, some model display planes of World War II planes and stuff like that. I can do that kind of work, and uh, it shows. You can see that in my uh, Moab series. You can see that in the Edward Monk painting of the girls on the beach, the pup tent. And uh, you can see that the work is very solid and very good. And yeah, I could do exactly that. And I do have an aviation background where I can actually probably do airplanes too if I wanted to. Actually, I do have a couple of sketches of uh, the flight deck crew uh, doing flight deck stuff, like a firefighting crew doing a firefighting thing. And uh, yeah, it was a quick sketch that I did back in the Navy. I was thinking of turning it into a painting. I could do that too. Um, it's not that hard for me. My artwork is actually quite phenomenal. I'm kind of currently stuck doing digital artwork with low-grade digital programs uh, because that's what I have available to me. Um, I do have some paints, but uh, I have to go sparingly. I have to go sparingly on my paints because if I uh, go all out, I'll be out of paints within a week, and if I don't uh, recuperate that loss, then I won't be able to replace any of my paints or any of my artwork stuff and. Um, you know, if you guys uh, see my artwork, you like some kind of artwork, you want to make a consignment or you want me to do an art show or something like that, you're welcome to contact me and I'll be happy to produce a whole bunch of paintings within about a month just to do an art show if that's that's the case. It doesn't really take me much, too much time to actually make real artwork as long as I have the resources and the funding for it. So if you want to help me out, fund my artwork to improve that quality. That'd be great. I need a new computer with a higher graphics card and and better manipulators so I can actually use uh, three-dimensional programming and, uh, you know, like Blender, Maya, things like that. And I need to be able to get those programs so I can actually use them because I want to keep the license under me so I'm not being taken advantage of by uh, malicious entities. 
because uh, all my stuff is copyrighted by me. It's all my stuff. And this is uh, Edward Monk painting right here, and it's a wonderful piece. And uh, if you like that kind of work, uh, I can do more. I even studied El Greco, uh, Domenico Theotopoulos. Uh, yes, he does some fantastic art right there. I was intrigued by his, uh, his Madonna and the praying scene, how tightly he formed put the hands and stuff like that, and the meaning that he puts our artwork there. Edward Monk does uh, quite a bit of good work with it, too. So, um, sure, if you, you want somebody that's more traditionally trained to do artwork and actually create art for you, uh, contact me. Let me know. The cafe thing's not working out so well. Uh, apparently, it's all kind of partisan polit political values, and it's kind of being dictated by uh, a guy who claims to be a philanthropist, you know, that Soros guy. No, he's just wanting direct communications. He's not a philanthropist at all. If he was, I shouldn't have money. He should be, just be giving it to me so I can do artwork, right? But he won't because I'm not part of his political schemes or his global perceptions of things. I'm my own person, and they don't like that. They don't like individuality, and uh, it's sad. But anyways, this is Edward Monk's uh, Girls on the Beach, or the Pup Tent. That's what I call it. And if you like it, thank you very much. This is Mark Brummel. You have a happy day. Have a great day. And uh, keep looking at my art.